Uh, tomorrow night, uh, the, the guest list is being held up in front of me. I can almost focus on it. Oh, yes, Governor of California, Ronald Reagan, Bob Newhart, and cinematographer James Wong Howe for all of the film addicts in the world. Why didn't he add them tonight? I'd like to have seen them, too. Oh, you, you're disappointed with the people yeah. you're on with tonight? Well, That's a terrible she's thing. She's been warning me what to say and what uh -huh. not to say. <laughs> Tell yeah. me not to be dirty. And, I didn't uh, say that. You just said you were going to tell that story, and you know. How is it you know that story? <laughs> yeah, if it's so dirty. Yeah. I went to one of those places that you buy your books. What was the? What no, was it's the, just a story he was telling nothing, me. It's nothing. It's tell. only a story. A I was in London, <laughs> and, and I was over there. I was doing some show. It was terrible, anyhow, the show. But at any rate, I had dinner at the American Embassy over there. I was a kind of, kind of a court jester. They thought I was very funny, and they invited me always. And one night, Jackie uh, Onassis was there, and her sister, Lee Radziwill, and her husband, Radziwill's husband. <laughs> I think he Is this clear to... so far? Yeah. The prince, in other words. The, the prince. I, I thought he was a Hungarian. And he wasn't. He was Polish. Right. So I, you know, having nothing to do and not knowing this man, I told him a story. It was during the Second World War, and a, a woman who, I guess she plies the streets like in Madison Avenue, New York. Mm -hmm. Or are they in the television industry? Well, there are, if I know what you're referring to, there are yeah, there ladies, ladies of this. Yeah, ladies of easy virtue. Easy virtue, yes, of course. And boy, were they easy. <laughs> And, uh, oh, you've heard it before, huh? And never ask of you. It's the last time I visit you in the hospital. But I know everything about you now. Come on. Tell us a story. Tell us <laughs> tell well, a story, It's a most I innocuous think. story. It just happens to be filthy. Oh, oh well. No, it isn't. It isn't at all. Hmm. But I thought Lee Radziwill's husband was a Hungarian. Right. But he wasn't. No, he was. I, it turned out he was Polish. And I told okay. him a Hungarian story. It's about a soldier in the Hungarian army that meets one of these women in the street, and she takes him home. And she helps him undress and takes a shower, and she fixes dinner for him. And it's a, rather a nice story. She was a nice woman. And they slept together that night, and then the next morning, she helped him dress again, and he took a shower again. She fixed breakfast for him. Now he's all dressed, and he starts to leave. And as he gets to the door, this woman says to him, uh, what about money? And he draws himself up to his full height, and he says, a Hungarian officer doesn't accept money. <laughs> That's a very funny story. Yes, but he yes. was very angry because he was Polish. Oh, Radziwill was angry. Mr. Radziwill, the Polish. I, I mean, the Prince Radziwill yeah. was, was angry. And I did fix drinks for her because she mm. couldn't get enough drinks that night. And I was a big wheel. <laughs> who, who? No, she wasn't drunk. Oh, oh. No, but she liked two or three drinks, and they were come, slow mm. coming there that night at the American Embassy. What are the two or three drinks that she likes? <laughs> No, no, she just had martinis. Oh, she wasn't okay. loaded or anything. Yeah. But she thought I had influenced her because I made the, um, the American ambassador laugh. Ah, yes. Now, there's a different man there now. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she said to me, I'd like a few drinks. This is a pretty dull party. <laughs> and Jackie Onassis was there, her sister. That's why Lee was there. So I went out and the, the two butlers were playing bridge. And I said, there are drinks needed in this room. Would you bring them out? And I, don't, I didn't even live there at the embassy. <laughs> so they brought them drinks out. Mm -hmm. And they also brought cigars. Now, my uh, dinner party was Mary Churchill, a beautiful girl. Yeah. And I knew the other one, too, Sarah, who was always loaded. <laughs> There's nothing. A lot of people drink. True. I see, see anything wrong with that. <laughs> Can you think of some more of them while we're... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I'm trying anyway. to educate these clucks out there. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> so you can't insult them. I want to tell you something. They didn't even know the name of Chico. How do you like that? Chico's Maybe? real name. Oh, Chico. on the quiz earlier. On the quiz, they didn't know. Mm -hmm. They'd never heard of Chico. They never heard of Zeppo. They never heard of Gummo. Oh, That's they've heard of them. They didn't know the real. Crowd. <laughs> and I, we had done 14 movies. Yeah. You would imagine by this time they would know who the brothers were. Well, it was the real name that they didn't know. And, and the one man uh, thought that Carlo was one of the brothers. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. always one of those in the audience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, uh, I want to ask you something. Well, I, I won't do it right now. Um, but I, about I know that Roswell? all. Roswell? No, I was about I all. I didn't tell you about Mary Churchill. Oh, no, you didn't. Could you do it after this message? Yes, I could. <laughs> you got Reagan on tomorrow night, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I know a fellow. What? I know a fellow used to take his wife home. I didn't hear you. I know a fellow that used to go steady with his wife before she married Reagan. Oh, I'm glad you added that. Uh, <laughs> Norman yeah. Krasner was his name. Oh, Norman Krasner. Yes, yeah. he's a yeah. playwright, writer. Uh -huh. But I had Mary Churchill <laughs> was my companion oh. at a dinner table at in the embassy in London. Right. And after they brought the booze in, they brought in cigars because they know that I'm a cigar smoker. And Mary said to me, get me a cigar too. And these were these big Churchill cigars. Yeah. Cost about $8 a piece. And I says, I didn't know you smoked. She says, I do smoke. And I've always smoked. And we, I have a game that I play with my daddy. That's Winston. As you probably well know. <laughs> And I, I took two cigars, and I gave her one, and I took the other one. And I, what is the game that you played with your father? She said, we would each light a cigar, and we would bet one pound that he could, he always bet that he could hold the ashes longer on the cigar than I could. And I always beat him, she said. And it drove him crazy. Now, here's a man who was the biggest man in the whole world at that time. Right. And he couldn't win five dollars from his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little footnote to history that I didn't know yes, about. Yes, it is. Yeah. I can tell you another one, too. He was watching a night at the opera one night at his home oh, in, uh, yeah. you know, what the... Oh, uh, what was his home called? Ten Downing Street. No, ten, but the one in the country, yes. probably. Oh, Ten Downing Street? No, no, Street? this was yeah. Ten Downing Street. And Hess had just arrived in Scotland, and they had captured him. Oh, yeah. Because he had come there because Hitler had asked Hess to go and visit Churchill and see if the war could be stopped. And yeah. he was watching a night at the opera. And somebody knocked on the door, and he came to the door and he says, what is it? We have just captured Hess in Scotland. Mm -hmm. He says, look, wait till his picture's over with her and call me back. He was the head of the... Apparently he was government. very cool that way. He could go to sleep without any trouble during the height of the well, what war. What do you think and, I'm doing now? No. <laughs> Along with his audience. Oh, no, it's true about Churchill. Yeah. Churchill was very calm and could divorce himself from the war. It's amazing. Yeah.